Kingdom Note is one of the famous fountain pen stores here in Tokyo. They used to be on the west side of Shinjuku Station where you had to go up a teeny tiny elevator up into a camera store. But on August 7th, they had a grand opening to their new beautiful store, which is about a five minute walk from the south exit of Shinjuku Station. Both their address and the directions to their store in English on their website has not been updated. So for now, you'll have to check out Google Maps or the directions that are in Japanese. Now, instead of being up in the camera store, they have their own storefront on the ground level. It's on a main road and much easier to get to than before. And in keeping with most stores here in Tokyo, you're required to wear a mask and use hand sanitizer. It's a beautiful store. The inside of their old store was very pretty, but this is much larger, brighter, and airier than their older store. Their website is very thorough and gives a very good rundown on what's available in the store. However, they do not ship overseas. I do know that White Rabbit Express will be a proxy shipping company for you. They carry a large assortment of upper-end Western pens, Japanese pens, notebooks, inks, and other fountain pen accessories. They of course carry Sailor, Platinum, and Pilot, along with Pelican, Lamy, Delta, Visconti, Omos, Aurora, Leonardo, along with several other companies. They're pretty heavy on Sailor, here is their store special color of time pen and then these uh, different special edition mix and match color body sailor pens. They sell ink puddles and glass pens capitalizing on the ink numa craze. This is a new addition over their old store. They also sell the two ribbon stub glass nib pen. However, there's a three month waiting list. They carry a nice selection of Toyo Oka pen cases. I purchased this case for my Inkunuma swatching stand. Toyo Oka is made of American alder wood, but made here in Japan. I counted, but I can't remember, but this stand holds gobs of pens. What I thought was unusual is they also carry a selection of loops and magnifying glasses. Sean Design is here, and their pens are quite popular in Japan. You see them in many stationery stores. Backlit against this wall is their huge selection of used pens. And in this front case is their selection of Pelicans and Mont Blancs. They had a fairly good catalog of Mont Blancs, and there were a lot more to choose than I expected. I was tempted, but my wallet couldn't handle it. There's a rating system for their used pens, but for the most part, they all look very nice. If you buy a used pen, you get to fill it with any of these inks that are backlit against this wall. These are all bottles that you can use to try out inks before you buy them. This is the counter where you pay and also where you go to test out pens. Notice the plastic paneling is used to give people separation for COVID sake. In their center column, they have a selection of paper and journals. And Amy assures me something called Clyde Japan journals are really awesome. You can either get these in a full hardbound journal or one of these thinner ones. They advertise themselves as being fountain pen friendly and being able to lay flat. And this is probably one journal that lays the flattest I've ever seen. It's fairly fountain pen friendly except for heavy applications of ink or very runny inks and it feathers a bit. As far as normal handwriting, it works just great in a fountain pen. Not such a bad recommendation from a non-fountain pen person. Also in the center column, you can see those three large notebooks on the right. 
they hold the swatch cards for all the inks that they carry at Kingdom Note. The boxes on the left is their Shinjuku 5 Use ink, which represents different attractions in Shinjuku. The boxes on the right is their Biological Mollusk series. This is their Color of Time ink, which is a blue and blue-black, and their Biological Dongo series, which is their newest and their Biological Amphibian series, and their Biological Sea Creatures series, which is just way too many series for me. After looking around the store, I decided on a used pen, and we wanted to go to a coffee shop. In particular, we wanted to go to a Kisaten. Kisaten literally means tea drinking place. During the 50s, 60s, and 70s, people in Japan would go to Kisatens to drink coffee. The coffee was shockingly expensive, and you could buy one cup and sit for hours. This was especially important as many homes in Japan are very small. But after a while, much of the reading material in many of the kisatens were manga, and sometimes they tended to be violent or sexually oriented, and kisatens started to become a place that was smoky and that only old men went to. There are many coffee shop chains in Japan. This one is Jutor, and they're fine. They serve coffee, but they have a little bit of a cafeteria feel to them. If you're wondering why this is at night in the rain, it's because I lost some of my earlier film. This made Tokyo ripe for Starbucks. Like most places in the world, Starbucks is pretty much well taken over. I live within a five minutes walking distance to four different Starbucks. And then the second wave of coffee came along, places like Steamers, Blue Bottle, and this place called Be a Good Neighbor, which are hipster places to get good pour-over coffee. And now we've come full circle. Kisatens are now the cool places to go to. This one has wax replicas of what they serve out in front. This Kisaten is called Tajimaya and is always busy. It's done up in the typical Kisaten quirky style, which is a mix of some Japanese things and some Western things. This one is on the east side of Shinjuku Station and has become one of the most popular places to go for coffee. The video of the inside of this Kisaten will be very dark, as most Kisatens are like wood paneled and dark. They don't allow videotaping in the inside, but I whined and promised that I wouldn't take video of anybody's faces. So what we'll have is very restricted video. The serving ware is very important in a Kisa 10. When you get your coffee, they'll either pick a particular cup for you or for the type of bean of the coffee you're drinking. I managed to get some quick film of their different kinds of coffee cups they have. Even the creamer pitcher and other accoutrements are important. Here Amy is pouring liquid sugar into iced coffee and then some cream. The iced coffee is almost always really strong and served in very small glasses. It was so cramped and I was so limited in my filming, we decided to go to another Kisa 10 so I could do my unboxing of what I got at Kingdom Note. This is the stairs down into Tsubakia. They have a counter and tables and have really nice old-fashioned drawings of women in kimonos. But their claim to fame is all their coffee and accoutrements are served in rural Copenhagen serving ware. They have the typical kisaten type desserts like the strawberry shortcake. There's a little more space in this Kisa tin for me to do my unboxing. This used pen did not come with its original box, so Kingdom Note just gave me their standard box. You open it up, and inside, tied in a blue ribbon, is the little cloth container for the pen. This pen will surprise many people that have watched any of my old videos because I had talked about selling this pen. 
but the color was just too pretty and this is one of my original grail pens. It's the Lamy 100 year anniversary Bauhaus. It performs no different than the original, but I'm really enjoying that color. All of Kingdom Note's used pens come with a one year warranty. Kingdom Note is definitely one of the fountain pen shops you need to visit when you come to Tokyo. Especially this new one, it is so much like the style of many Japanese stores with its clean, minimalistic, and bright white design. Besides checking out their website, you should also check out their YouTube channel. It's full of one to two minute long videos that are basically showcasing their used and new pens. So it's a good place to look if you're researching a pen and want to see a quick video of it. If you enjoyed this video about Kingdom Notes Fountain Pen Store, I'd appreciate a like. And if you'd like to see more videos about fountain pens, ink, caffeine, or Tokyo, please subscribe.